And welcome back folks to the, well, one of the last parts of episode 1 of Back to the Future the game, I'm going games. And before we start, there's quite a few things I should probably tell you. One is, I'm probably, um, probably not going to be doing, recording any Back to the Future for a few weeks or maybe a month or so. That's basically because I'm at co as many of you you know I'm at college at the moment and lately I'm getting really really swamped with work and I've got a few projects running already as it is I'm uh, planning on doing a Halloween special for Halloween um I've got some of projects I've got all college work so I won't be recording anymore Back to the Future for a while hell this might even be a late upload I don't know but uh, anyway fortunately I have qu I have quite a bit of a backlog of videos so you won't been left with nothing. I'll, there is, I think I can complete so far. There's quite a few. I won't be putting any long ones because so uh, there's. A, I've got a few long ones. Long ones complete for like Bioshock and Doom, but I won't be putting them up because it'll bring the whole new Let's Play. So the Castle of Illusion. I don't really know what to do with that because it crashed a lot on the last recording, and the cat. It seems to be having a bit of problem loading up properly. But you'll get you get like let's plays like Sonic, uh, Sonic 2, maybe Sonic 3. No, I bet like Sonic 2, maybe Sonic 3, maybe some Crash Bandicoot stuff like that. It won't be anything major for a bit because I'm busy. But you won't be left with nothing. Right now, another thing to point out is that I'm sure a few of you on the PS3 Network have noticed there's a few trophies I haven't mentioned, and that's because the story related trophies and you you don't you can't miss them basically to get for the you have you have to get the, for the game to get them and you can't miss them ones. I'm only pointing out the missable ones really, which there's one from what I remember there is one last one in here, I believe. How about Kid Tannen? What do we know about him? He's loud, he's obnoxious, he's not very bright, and he doesn't like anybody getting in his way. Yep, that's a tannin, all right. Yeah, sound like Biff. This might be a stupid question, but couldn't you have designed your rocket-powered drill to run on fuel that, you know, isn't illegal? Illegal? What does law have to do with science? Science has its own laws. You of all people should know that. Well, we haven't got the alcohol yet. We'll score that hooch somehow. I'll keep cogitating. Hang on a minute, what's going on it? I'm sure I did it. Please tell me I don't have to do it all that again. Oh, thank god. I thought I'd miss something then folks. Sorry about that. Hey, uh, Miss Strickland. Oh, hello, Mr. Corleone. Hey, it's soon Crockett, for God's sake. Time. The meeting of the Stay Sober Society is due to begin very soon. Hey, I can help you deliver soup. But I donate a lot of time to charities. Oh, which ones? The, um, Mario Brothers. <sighs> ah, yes. The Italians do so many good works. If you'll just fix it so I can pick up the barrels of soup. Now hold your horses, let's not get over eager. I drive the soup cycle in this town, and I'm not about to turn it over to an upstart. But, if you're well connected with the local charitable institutions... Yeah? You can let me know when they're running low on soup. My bros. As a matter of fact, I do know a local charity that's running low on soup. Oh? Who? The father of the children, oh my god. Oh. The Stay Sober Society. That's right. They'll soon be gathering at the Brown Estate, and we haven't provided refreshments. I can't get over the generosity of your friend Emmett, volunteering his father's house for our meeting. Huh? Oh, wait there! Michael! What in the name of Thomas Alva Edison do you think you're doing? Don't you get it? You need alcohol to run your drill, right? 
Those bootleggers at the soup kitchen won't let us get our hands on any of their hooch, but we can get Miss Strickland to pick it up for us and deliver it right to your door. No, out of the question. Why? I can't just let strangers invade my parents' house. What do we know about these people? They're sober. It says so right in the name. Well, okay, but a pop needs his peace and quiet at the end of the day. This meeting is sure to be too noisy for him. They'll be quiet. You'll be quiet, right? Oh, yes! I play my tambourine very softly. You hear that? Yes, but... But what? But it's still impossible! Okay, forget the whole thing. We don't have to test your rocket power drill tonight. We don't? No. I'll take the train back to Washington and I'll tell the folks at the office to give the patent to Dr. McCoy. Wait! You will instruct the members of the society to wipe their feet before they come inside. Then you are, Emmett Brown. I thought as much. You have such a righteous face. Edna Strickland, I don't know how to thank you for your generosity. I'm, uh, pleased to meet you. The feeling is mutual. <laughs> I've got a bad feeling about this. Now you worry too much, Emmett. Well, we've served the subpoena and gotten a barrel of booze delivered to your house. Looks like we're off to your lab to build your rocket drill. Uh, you do have a lab, right? What kind of future patent holder would I be without a lab? Come on! Doc! I'm off to get the rocket drill. Good! <gasps> Come on, let's go! Time waits for no man! That was close. Right then, folks, the trophy I mentioned, well, the immutable trophy I mentioned, sure is right here, work, actually. Don't let the ramshackle nature of my laboratory fool you. If all goes according to plan, we'll soon be in possession of the most powerful rocket fuel known to man. That's great. How? Well, it's very simple. This crankshaft induces a powerful direct current into the electrolysis chamber, producing hydrogen, which must be periodically released into the primary distillation barrel. While tending to the hydrogen, we'll also need to regularly sprinkle these shredded protein flakes into this aquarium of tuber bacteria to generate the necessary nitrogen to catalyze the reaction! Cool. Oh, hot! Extremely hot! The temperature of the reaction must be kept at a steady temperature of 623 degrees Kelvin by carefully pumping these bellows! Any questions? No, basically, uh, what you have to do, you have to do all this and you can't make a mistake. If you do that, you get... Uh, Fuel Master Flux, I believe. I'll put... Uh... Emmett! Why is there a brace of drunkards gathering on our lawn? Sweet fancy Moses, it's my father! So? So, he doesn't know I'm engaging in acts of scientific exploration in here. He thinks this is where I go to pour through my law books. Oh. You attend to the reaction, I'll try to get rid of him. Tend to the... what? Can't we just start over after he's gone? It's too late! The reaction's already started! Don't worry, I'll try to help you out where I can. What? Uh, coming, father! Father! Don't you father me, child! <laughs> this may come as a shock to you, Pop, but not everyone wants uh, to be the... That's a shock. Basically, the quick one with this is listen to what Emmett says, for instance, shock equals electric, fire equals heat, speed equals bacteria, and just do it that. No idea what kind of pressure I'm under. Pressure, uh, <laughs> really suspicious pressure. <laughs> is it my fault if I don't get a spark out of laws and statutes? <laughs> Excellent. Now twist the valve there. Great. We're about a quarter of the way home. Emmett, get back here! Oops. 
<laughs> You're going to find out. Law? What use is a microorganism for law? I can always be bacteria. Just maybe I should just get struck by lightning. Would that make you happy? No, 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 no. Ah, oh, crap. Um. That was bad. Listen to the words I'm emphasizing. Don't you turn your back on me! I meet mean, made messed up there, I would have got the trophy. Why should I honor your wishes? You treat me like common bacteria! Oh, someday you have children and you will look with I made a mistake the there. You get the oh. I know I'm right. Hatter, quick. You go feed the ducks, father. I hope someday you have children and you will look for the law. Is it my fault if I don't get a spark out of laws and statutes? It's hard on the PC version because you can't get out of the controller as much. You are going to find out. Why won't you release me from your unattainable expectations? I hope someday you have children and you will look. Ah, halfway there. Basically, don't make a single mistake or you lose the trophy. I like it, like I would have done it. I would have done if I had been doing the P3. I didn't know who invented fire pop. I don't know either, but you can be damn sure it wasn't a lawyer. I'm not just another one of your staffers who spins around you like a top. Your mother and I are stuck at your behavior, young man. Damn it! You got no. Why are you always bellowing at me? Pressure! You're a child, you don't know anything about pressure! You, didn't you don't get to control my life just because you fed and clothed me for 17 years! Maybe I should just get struck by lightning! Would that make you happy? What will it take to light a fire under your unappreciative anchor? Don't you have a release valve on your mouth somewhere? Von Brauns have been officers of the court since gone. Almost there. Is it? Uh, coming, father! By Galileo's rotations, do you ever listen to yourself? This isn't food for thought, Pop. It's gruel. Do I get a turn to talk, or is this going to be another monologue? Pressuring me to be something I'm not. See, when you get to these parts, this is a really hard part. What did you do? Emmett, who are you talking to in there? No one, father. Can't you see this is eating me up inside? What do you call room full of lawyers trapped in a burning building? A good start. If I don't know what's eating you, father, but I wish it would go on a diet. If it weren't for scientists, men like you would still be dividing the future with sheep's bladders and goat gizzards. Stop getting so hot. Oh, you son of a... See, it gets complicated in the last one. Just pay attention to what I say. Damn it, I'm not through with you yet. I... Made too many mistakes. Law may be your burning passion, Father, but it is not mine. This may come as a shock to you, Pop, but not everyone wants to be a lawyer. If you don't like my performance at the courthouse, then fire me! You have no idea what kind of pressure I'm under. I strongly object to the current of this conversation, Father. You really want to vent our dirty laundry in public like this? Lawyers are nothing but a bunch of hot air. There, I said it. Oh. I thought you were a scientist. Damn it! Pressuring me to be something I'm not! There is a flame inside me that cannot be quelled by your legalistic gobbledygook, Father. Lawyers are nothing but overblown bags of gas! How many times do I have to prove myself to you before I can shake your overbearing criticisms? 
Saying you are Stop being such a crank! What do you call room full of lawyers trapped in a burning building? A good start! Why must you always scatter condescension my way? You know who invented fire pop? I don't know either, but you can be damn sure it wasn't a lawyer. Can't you see this is eating me up inside? I'm not just another one of your staffers who spins around you like a top. Stop getting so hot under the collar, Pop. You are to learn, boy. You learn. Yes, uh, I'm afraid we'll have to take this up later, Pop. My soup's about to boil over. What? This isn't over, young man. Whew. That is one of the most annoying bits in the first episode. Are you okay? You and your dad sounded... It was an argument we should have had a long time ago. We... Eureka! Now all we gotta do is fuel up the old rocket power drill and you and, and I can... I can take it and go. But don't you want to test it first? No time. The, uh, the, the last train for DC leaves in just a few minutes. All right. You've got to get this baby to the U.S. Patent Office. Uh, exactly. So tell me, Michael, when can I expect to hear back from the Patent Office? Uh... Oh, in about, I'd say... 30 years? <laughs> I can't. Huh? Emmett, I I'm not from the patent office. I don't understand. I, I, I lied to you, but I, I didn't want to. It was just, it was the only way I can get you to trust me. See, there's somebody who's in big trouble. Someone very important to me, to, to both of us. I, I can't tell you who, but... I need to save him, tonight, and, and I need your invention to do it. Aww. Hold on, Earth. Will you ever forgive you? I'll get it back to you, I, I promise. And, Emmett, you're gonna be a great inventor. Mm. Aww. Wait! Damn it. Keep the throttle at about eight. <laughs> uh, he will be a good inventor, Emmett. Invented something nobody has ever even... Well, nobody in this timeline has ever even thought of. Yeah, that thing okay, is Doc, goddamn drill, hard. Let's get you out of here. You can't make one mistake if you make one mistake. That's it, you don't get to and you have to do it again. It's easy on the PS3 version though, but it's the, the words that confuse you. Like fire, you got fire hot under the collar, bladder, um, you get all sorts. The rockets still work at least. Mr. Corleone! You're too late! Too late? But that's not supposed to be... Oh god, there he goes. Doc! They're moving him to another facility for safekeeping! Oh, I better go get a quote from the police chief! Something's not right. Chain. Paddy wagon intercepted, suspect slain, and they're still after him. How am I gonna rescue him now? Well, I think if we pick up the... Hmm. At least the rocket part came out of this in one piece. And we pinch someone's bike. Emmett would be proud. Alright, I'm coming, Doc. Um, I always get reminded of that cartoon of. Roadrunner and Wiley Coyote where he makes rocket powered bike or something and ends up going straight up rather than I'm hung. I 
much darn cheap for gas, something says. Oh, that didn't look good. Those have got part of the fun. They left! Oh no! <laughs> okay, let's go right then. What are we gonna need? Two of us. Let's see what we can get out of here, shall we? Who's driving? Well, 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 look who's driving. What's he doing here? Can I have to get that? They won't budge. Because in the tire iron, you get a hook cap. Kid Dan is driving the truck. Kid Dan? That explains a lot. You can't break the lock. There's a key. Well, it's probably up front. I'll be back! I'll wait right here! There's not much you can have, all I can do, is there? Keys! How do I get them? Keys are on the dashboard, but I can't reach them! Give me your pump tracks and the pertinence! What? A reach extender! Well, where the hell am I going to get with them? I'll be back! I can see something that might help, but we can't reach it at the moment, so... Camera. I'll be back. No good. The window shut. There's no time up to this work, so don't worry. I need a distraction! Leave it to me! Distinctly uncomfortable! 
you have a pillow I can sit on? Hey, I'm talking to you, driver. Don't ignore me. You! Thanks, Doc. I guess that's why they call you the street. How did you know that? I have my sources. Right then, let's use the keys. We just snuck right from under Kid Tanda's nose and unlock the door. Stand back, Doc. Here's a cult, and he's a terrible, terrible shot. You are a terrible, terrible shot, Kid Tanda. Taken. Ow, son of a bitch! Language. We'll get the cult right now. Which we should keep. Which I would keep if I were because I like cults or magnums or whatever you call. Guy could get hurt with one of these things. It's a bloody cult. I mean. Use. Oh, oh, oh. This is our last kill. Uh, that's the idea. Ah. Oh. Hit the throw. And probably while you goes out of control. Got two odds, I can and as they say, I hate manure. So that's three cannons. That is done that way. Out of the future. Doc, are you okay? I'm fine. But I wonder what sort of bizarre repercussions my younger self's invention of a flying bicycle will have on the timeline. I don't think anybody will know about it. I know that would happen. I had a suspicion. I never could keep those rockets from exploding. So, what do we do now? Now we get back to 1986 before our interactions with the past inevitably cascade into a calamitous future. Where'd you leave Einstein? Uh, Doc? He's not in the pound, is he? We have a no, slight problem, I think Doc. Bigger problems right now. Hey, Scott! As I say, here we go again. I've been Gun Games folks, thank you for watching Hugs Future Episode 1 and I will see you next time. As I say, to be continued. Sorry about that folks, I forgot there's a little something that might pop up then. And I can't really let you go about this. In the next episode. What's happening? I don't know. So we'll have to be careful not to run into ourselves. Hey fellas. All right, McFly. Let's go see the boss. History says Tan will be arrested by a rookie cop by the name of Danny Parker. I fear that nothing will save Hill Valley from descending into the fires of chaos and corruption. You seen the DeLorean? Machine gun. I'm running out nothing of time. Nothing is over until Kid Tannen says it's over. We'll see about that. Don't worry, folks. I'm not going back in time to February 2010. Well, next episode will be like a month or maybe a few weeks. Kid Tan Biff Tan and Kid Beyond. Well folks, thanks for watching. Have been good games. I hope you've enjoyed this.